So I just added Kenny. Whoa, that's pretty cool. That's very cool. Turn into Spider-Man. Oh my God, what the f Hey everyone, today we're gonna be talking about ControlNet 1.1. It's basically like an update to ControlNet with a bunch of new features. If you're not familiar with ControlNet, it basically helps guide and constrain, or like the name suggests, it helps control the outcome image that has been generated by the AI. It does it in different ways through different modes. An example is Canny. Canny makes an outline of a subject or a background. This is used to make the AI generate something that follows that outline. Each model works differently and for different purposes. Here I'm showing several examples of how each works. You can even stack control net units to get more dynamic ways of controlling an outcome. However, stacking units can take a lot of processing and some GPUs might not be able to handle the load, so be aware of that. There's a low VRAM option you can try out if you're running into this issue. I will leave a link in the description so you can look through all this information yourself if you wanna dive deeper into this. So here's an example. If I run Stable Diffusion without control net and I have it at full denoising strength, which means it's applying the style at its max. So if I bring this denoising strength all, like down right here, you're gonna get something that's more like this, right? But let's say I wanna push the style a little bit. This is a little extreme. I don't normally put it all the way to one, but there are cases where I do. And uh, let's say I wanna put the style very strong on this. You can see it's way off from this. So we want it to follow this more. So let's come down here and you have to apply what kind of model you want for this. And you can apply multiple ones. You can stack these with different models. So in this case, I'm going to enable this. I have to enable this. Then I go to preprocessor, pick for example, Canny. Once you learn what these do, you can pick these out and you'll probably end up having some favorite ones and uh, Canny there. And then you come here and look for Canny right here as well. And then once you have that selected, you typically have control weight at one right here, but I don't like having it so strong it depends on what kind of results you're getting but sometimes when you have this really strong you get some really weird results so i try to keep the weight at around 0.5 so here's the outline and when you bring these down the canny thresholds for example it's going to give you a lot more details you got these parameters that you can mess with to get different results so you see it's giving even more details so yeah, you can mess around with these. I do go over some of these new things down here uh, later in the video, so just keep watching. But I'm just wanting to explain just overall how this works. And then as you can see, now it applied tons of style, but now it's following this image a lot more. And you can see right here, if you click on the screen down here, the outline that it created from this image. You can keep adding stuff like that. You can stack this again by enabling another one. Uh, this used to just be HED, but now it's soft edged and this one is soft edge as well. Now we have two control net modules stacked and it's giving us some different results now. So it's using this and this to make this with a very strong style. So if you were not familiar with control net, this is how it works. And this is an extension to stable diffusion. Just think about it as if this is the main system and this is a plugin. So you have to install this plugin into this and you can integrate it with everything that stable diffusion does. I haven't had a chance to download it myself. So we're going to download it together. So we're going to learn as a group. I actually going to start from scratch. I got rid of my old folder where control net was installed and I'm just gonna do it from scratch so that you guys can follow along. And also because I have a bunch of old models in there too. So I kind of want to do it, refresh everything and get everything brand new. So I'm gonna follow the instructions that it says here. It says open extension tab, install URL. Okay, let's do that. Copy this URL right here, install from URL, paste it there. All right, once you press installed, come back to installed. It's gonna show that it's loading and it installed it right here. So we're good. I'm gonna just check for updates. All right, so it's the latest version and I'm gonna apply and restart UI. It, it actually says to completely start automatic 11.11, including your terminal. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let me actually, let me close the terminal, restart it. All right, so if we come down here, 
we can come to control net and you see 1.1 baby i'm set but we need all these models here because we have none we have zero models right now that's very sad we're gonna have to take some time to download these new models and i'm gonna put the link to all these in the description so we're up in this mix right here, and we have a bunch of models in here. You may notice that there's a bunch of these YAML files. If you come into Stable Diffusion, Extensions, Control Net, and you go to Models, you should have all these YAML files in here. This happened when I installed Control Net, so you don't have to worry about downloading these. You just have to download the PTH files. For example, uh, a lot of these are new to me, but we got some familiar ones like Canny, we got Dep, we got Normal. So I'm gonna go ahead and download all these and then we'll get back to it. So I'm gonna come to this little icon right here where it has an arrow that's pointing down for download, download file. So I'm gonna click that and then I'm gonna save this in this model file that I showed you earlier where all the YAML files are at. You copy this. And then I'm gonna paste it in here so that I can save to these folders. And I'm just going to save them there. So I'm gonna do this to all of these. So, all right, so I got all these queued up and they're gonna download. I, it's gonna take a long time, but for now. <laughs> nah, just kidding, just kidding. Nobody wants to sponsor my videos. So most of the models are downloaded now. So we're just gonna come and check up on this to see if everything's good in here. So let's just pick Canny. And now we have Canny in here somewhere. Where is it? There it is. Nice. We got the latest of the latest. Unless it's like one month from now and now this is not the latest and this is old and you're watching this video and you're thinking, why does it look so different from how it looks now? So this is me from the past. Hello. Yeah, so you got all your settings here. There's pff, there's a lot more options now to choose from. And uh, and I got my models here. We got some new settings right here that I've never seen before. But let's see what they do. Control mode, guest mode. All right. Oh, there it is. All right, tell me, explain to me. Explain to me what this is, all right? We fixed many bugs in previous 1.0 guest mode, and now it's called control mode. Now you can control which aspect is more important to your prompt or your control net. All right, so we got a bunch of control net units here and uh, control net balanced. This one right here, uh, it's looking like this. It's giving it a little bit of style. This is, my prompt is more important. It's giving it a little bit of more of those stylized eyes more anime eyes a little bit more stylized here in the shirt as well and then you got control net is more important and it gives a little bit more realistic but still stylized and obviously because control net uh it's following the outline and uh we'll, we'll see that right now so that's that pixel perfect pixel perfect pixel perfect mode now, if you turn on pixel perfect mode, you do not need to set preprocessor annotator resolutions manually. The control net will automatically compute the best annotator, re uh, annotator resolutions for you that each pixel perfectly matches stable diffusion. All right, so uh, if you click on here, let's let's put uh, Canny up in this up in this mix. All right, and there's preprocessor resolution. Typically, you put this manually. But now with Pixel Perfect, it's gone. I think it would just follow whatever the resolution is of the actual image. So if you have a big image, then it's going to follow the size of that image and might take longer to generate or to process. So just be aware of that. Uh, yeah, so you got that. Allow preview. Uh, we are reorganizing some previous confusing UI like canvas with height for new canvas and it is in the paper and the pencil button now now the preview GUI is controlled by the allow preview option and the trigger button the preview image is better than before and now you don't need to scroll up and down your automatic 1111 GUI will not be messed up anymore so technically you can you can preview this so if I put allow preview and I put pixel perfect and click on this little explosion. Whoa, that's pretty cool. So now you can actually see what the outline is gonna look like before you run it up here. 
and so you don't have to be kind of going up and down you can see what the outline looks like and uh, i heard about this open pose thing where it's not just like open pose anymore you see like that's how it used to be but now oh shoot i gotta change this to open pose yeah so now you can change this to open pose face and now it detects the face the little dots that's sick that's really sick and then open pose face only let's see it's only gonna do the face that's really cool because then you can have it just detect the face the entire like if you're doing like a batch it will detect the face the entire time and then you can add another one where it's canny and it outlines the rest of the stuff that's around outside of the face like the body and stuff open pose full uh the dot outlines for the face and it does also this other parts of the body like the shoulders open face hand it probably doesn't detect the hand because this is so up close let's say uh let's put this guy in here if we put hands now you can get the hands but that it also gets the body okay that's really cool it really detects the hands really well let me re try that out again open pose full does the full body the hands and the face which is very cool all right so let's actually put it to the test let me see let me put this in here uh so i'm gonna enable this right here and then you can put multiple i'm gonna enable another one i'm gonna put canny on this and then canny on this right here i'm gonna lower these a little bit see let me just put um spider-man all right so i made this guy kind of look like spider-man it didn't work out so well there's like a hand coming in here but uh, you get the idea but just look at some of the details like his hands like right here the hands are not really following as much but uh yeah it detects the fingers really well and the face and you can see that it's very much follows the hand even though i have the denoising strength all the way to one like blasting all the way um yeah obviously this uh, maybe i can bring up the strength here the control weight also if you're not sure what these do basically when control net will take effect so if you bring this up here control net won't be used from the start it will start to be used at a certain point right here think of it as if this is the beginning of the generative process and this is the end of the generative process so if this is the beginning and you bring this up if you put it here it's going to start at the half point of the generative process while it's generating the image likewise here at the end uh, if you put this down then it's only going to do this part and here at the end it's not going to use control net so it's only going to use the first part and then this part it's not going to use this is how it gives you a little bit more flexibility when it comes to how much control net is affecting the final outcome as well so this is another little thing that you can use to tweak some of your results, you know, and you can adjust these individually. I actually tested uh, my prompt is more important versus control net is more important. And it gave me quite similar results, but you can definitely see some of the differences here. And this was only for open pose. So I can technically uh, do this with each one of these here too. Let me actually put it in uh, balance. And then this one, I'll put control net. Let me just test this out. Wow, that gave me very different results. Like I put balance on these. This is like way different. But if you notice, it actually is following the hands a lot better in this one. I mean, that's why you got to mess around with this. And you can go back and forth and, you know, mess around with the settings. This is really where you would have to experiment. And so I'm not going to tell you do this exactly because there's so so many settings to mess around with now that it, there's really not one solution to all this anymore before it was just like play with this setting and then do this and now it's like play with this setting but then with this little other setting and this other little setting here and that other setting over there and it's like yeah oh this looks really good actually yeah it's getting kind of confused with the hand here but you also got to realize that I'm pushing this all the way here. What are some of these other models? Shuffle. Model is trained to reorganize images. Hong Kong. So this is the original one. And I guess it just gets this image and just kind of like makes it look different. But it keeps very much the same style. And it's almost like a different part of the same city. Picks to picks. So picks to picks is supposed to allow you to just put in like a phrase like, 
add fireworks to the sky and then it just adds it. Replace fruits with cake and it just does that. This is a cool example here. Turn into a cyborg and then it turns it into a cyborg. Let me test it out really quick. All right, so I'm bringing this guy back and I'm gonna keep it simple. Turn into a robot. Okay, it's not following the position of his hands very much, but uh, let's add Canny to this. Let's see what this does. So I just added Canny. Hopefully we get some pretty decent results. Okay, whoa, that's pretty cool. And his hands look so good. I mean, not when you zoom in, but from far it looks good. That's very cool. Turn into Spider-Man. Oh my God, what the f What is that? Oh, um, yeah. So uh, anyways, you can mess around with that yourself. This guy, Mr. Boofy actually did some really cool examples of how to use this with video. And uh, here he put, uh, make her a green slime. And then here, I think he said, make he a, a blue robot moving clouds. And you see that here, and that's really cool. So, uh, oh shoot, he did a lot of them. Give her metal skin, robot. And this is the results that he got. Oh my gosh, this guy's been putting work. Yeah, so this is Mr. Boofy, my paisano. I don't know if he's my paisano, but he's Latino like me. My hermano carnal, saludos, amigo. Uh, slowly, we're just starting to see the, the progression with this, uh, with stable diffusion. Obviously, there's other stuff out there, AI tools out there that are taking big steps as well. But I think stable diffusion stands out because of all the options that you have and the flexibility that you have with it, how creative you can be with it, and it's free. And don't and don't come at me with like, yeah, it's not free because you have to buy a computer, you have to buy a GPU. Like, it, it's free, man. Like, you don't, if, if you buy a PS5 and someone gives you a video game for free, you're not gonna say, well, it's not free because I had to buy a PS5. Like, come on, like, that's not how it works. Test it out. Let me know what you guys think. By the way, I have a Discord server that you can join. Check in the description and come join it and come chop it up with us. I wanna be able to build a community there where we can talk about updates of stuff that's coming out, talk about AI news, share your AI videos. So I wanna welcome you guys to come join it. There's a link in the description again. Thank you so much for watching. Like always, take care, God bless. Peace.